on the track and pretty into the post. Race number three, racing one mile, first $2,500. Field of 10, drivers change of the five, 10 minutes until post time. Number one, BG Quill, owned by Lauren, Paul Baker of Galloway, Jim Arlitz Jr. trains, Dave Myers drives. The two is small but incredible, owned by Ray Baldwin of Lyons, Illinois, and John Blasing of Illinois, Larry Stolbon trains and drives. The three Osborns, Gigolo, William M., the owner, Elmer Spence Jr., the uh, trainer with Mike Wilder. Four, Shining Sam, owned by Jim Cancer of Columbus, Bob Barnett, the trainer driver. Number five, Bando Ralph, owned by Ray Cromer, Stephen Yates, and Jerry Kincaid of Ohio. Ray Cromer trains. Drivers change to Jim Dealey. Jim Dealey. Number six, Miwo, owned by Robert Henry of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Paul Johnson trains for Darren Mauser. Seven, Sinjur Sam, owned by Tom Rowe of Groveport and the Sedellos of Gahanna. Dean Collins, the trainer driver. The eight, San Jet Falcon, owned by Bill Sanders of Atlanta, Georgia. Chuck Grubbs, the trainer for Brad Hanners. Number nine, Sharp Joe, owned by Eilers Auto Rental of Kettering. Selden Ludford trains, Eric Ludford in the bike. And the ten, Beeler Hanover, owned by Edwin Cook of Londonderry. Richard Cook trains and uh, drives. One play show perfect, a super fact of wagering. Eight minutes until post time. Third race, condition pacers on and behind the gate. They're on the back stretch, and there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's BG Quail first off the rail for the lead alongside Small but Incredible. From the outside, a Sinjur Sam came away third towards the inside, and fourth, it's Osborne's Gigolo. Into the first turn to the inside in racing five. It's Shining as Sam. At the rail of sixth, Beeler Hanover. To the outside of seventh, Mi Wo. Inside and eighth, it's Bando Ralph. Then it's a gap of two lengths. Ninth, Sand a Jet Falcon. That leaves the uh, trailer Sharp Joe. They reach that first quarter in a 27 and 2. And a small but incredible with the lead here up by two, two and a half. BG Quail on the inside is now second. Osborne's Gigolo next in line. Here comes Shining Sam after everyone settles in. He's now on the move of the outside. Was fourth, now third and coming strong. Sinjor Sam, fifth at the rail. Three lengths, sixth to Beeler Hanover. At the rail and racing is seventh, Bando Ralph. Gapping to the outside, eighth, Mi Wo. And at the rail, ninth, San Jet Falcon. Sharp Joe trails the half, 56 and four. Small but incredible by three parts of a length. Shining Sam looking to wear that leader down on the outside is pressuring heavily. At the rail, BG Quail Osborne's Gigolo comes to the outside, picks up the cover, racing fourth. At the rail in five, it's Sinjur Sam. Down the back stretch, and Shining Sam and Small but Incredible are fighting it out for the lead as they reach that three quarter mile marker together. One, 24 and three around the final turn, and Small but Incredible on the inside. Retaking that lead, Shining Sam is a game second and poising to strike three wide. Now, here comes Osborne's Gigolo and up the rail, BG Quail. Last set an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come. Small but incredible has put away Shining Sam. On the inside, BG Quail. On the outside, Osborne's Gigolo. It's small but incredible. Coasting home here in 154 and 3. Trackside is the official winner, number two, small but incredible, five-year-old Illinois bred son of incredible finale from the Thorpe Hanover Mayor, D.D. Scooter. Oh, by Ray Baldwin of Illinois and John Blessing of Downers Grove, Illinois, Larry Stolbon trains and drives. In from Raceway Park, recording his third season's victory, third consecutive, pacing his fastest win of the year, 154 and a three-fifth. For driver Larry Stalbaum, two wins this evening. That gives him a driving double.